Previously on Bad Time Babble. Nasty, as we have discussed, uh, has a cake decorating business. She maintains her own website, oh. all pictures on it. Sometimes people can uh, pinch those pictures. Natalie found a few instances where other cake makers have used her pictures. Uh, there was a picture of a Minnie Mouse cake. And so that, that, that's the cake Natalie made. That's, that's an excellent Mouse. cake. Natalie then went to that cake company's website yeah. and found um, their attempt at Natalie's cake. Oh, wow. So she looks got slightly that. simple. I don't think I could screw up Minnie Mouse that bad. I don't think you could make that. You don't think I could make the bad one? No. No. I know, I'd, I'll be honest, I'd have to go with Tom and say you, that, that I that's, could do that. I, that that's so you possible. Think, yeah. You think yeah. you can do that? 100% I could do bad mini. We are here to compete on probably the shittiest Bake Off known to man, I think. I've never really successfully baked a cake, but I think I could win this. I don't think any of us are that good. I've got spirit, I've got heart, and and that's what's going to win the competition, I think. Before I got here, I was quite cocksure that, yeah, I'll do fine, it'll be all right. Now I'm here, I'm not. I'm not feeling anywhere near as confident. Dave is the dark horse, I think. He's, he's underplaying his talents, yeah, so far. There's nothing to fear from Tom or Chris, and I think Joe's got less of a chance. Tom is going to be the worst. He's going to be shit, okay? <laughs> I think he's kind of a flappy person, so he's going to flap under pressure and just fuck it up. Joe's a disaster waiting to happen, and I think that disaster will happen today. Joe is known as the verbal tornado. I expect she's just going to end up covered in flour in an absolute mess. Like everything I do, I'm just so amazing, so I just think I'm just going to go in there and just make the best cake that's ever been made. I hope Tom's going to be the worst, I think. I really do. I think everybody wants Tom to be the worst. I mean, fuck, he's wearing a top hat and smoking a cigar. I mean, I don't respect him. I'm not afraid to play dirty. I do live in quite a deprived area of London, so I'm used to being pretty hood in my life choices. Uh, Chris is probably the one with the chance, or the highest hopes. I think Dave is an asshole, but I think he's my biggest competition. There's politics in this game. I'm going to try and fuck up Tom as much as I can, really. Sneak a few ingredients into Tom's mix. Baking powder and fag ash. <laughs> <laughs> they will probably be able to bake a passable cake, but I think the icing it is going to be disastrous. I think they may be able to make a decent face for each of them, but getting the icing on the whole cake, I think that's going to be a real challenge. I run Immaculate Confections. I make bespoke cakes, birthday cakes, wedding cakes, and, and why I'm going to be a judge, because I have a fairly discerning eye when it comes to the quality of cakes. They've got a basic sponge recipe that will produce just a sponge cake, and then I've basically emptied the contents of my cupboards in terms of other flavourings. There's almond, there's coconut, lemons, all the jams and conserves and curds I've got, so they can pick and choose their own flavouring to personalise their cakes. I didn't make the coffee. Oh. <laughs> I left the coffee thing I there. I can make the coffee. No, 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 don't. I don't want you to make the coffee. I don't really know what that's going to do. Like, a bit like we need to kind of do the school projects where you put baking powder in and you put a bit of lemon in it and he just goes fucking everywhere. I think that's what's going to happen to his cake, hopefully. Let's go. Let's go. Is it literally just go for it? I don't know. I have never baked before my life, Dave. <laughs> I can put some sugar in. Well, I want you to do because I don't want you to follow my lead. I'm not following follow your lead. So, the sh sugar first with the butter, obviously. Standard. Have you brought a penny? No, I haven't brought a penny. <laughs> you brought a penny? Of course I brought a penny. It's the four pillars that I live by, which is uh, courage, brains, heart, and I'd like to have a vagina. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> More sugar at this point. Yeah? Yeah. This is, it's yet yeah, again, the sugar goes in. So you, you're going for the more natural filter baking, like well, what feels best? What feels good? <laughs> what's right. I think you can put on all the garments you want, Dave, but I don't think you're going to win this. <laughs> this is going to be horrible. Why? Just your cake. Don't know if you've seen this, but I actually won Best Guest 2014 and Best Story. Yeah. How great is that? Were you aware I was Best Guest 2013? Yeah, but come on, old oh, news. Yeah. I'm looking way more crumbly than you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's looking a bit like a crumble mix. I like, I like. You saw the cake we were making, didn't you? <laughs> I know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to go for the plunge. I think fingering's good. Okay. I think fingering could work. Get a little bit of flour in there. Oh, I love this because when I was younger, I used to pretend I was on a cooking show. So what I'm doing here is I'm just fingering the butter <laughs> and putting 
just gonna flower in. I'm and, just gonna wait. And, <laughs> and I'm just gonna get a little bit more flour. I'm okay. gonna go. I'm gonna okay. go. I'm gonna go sugar first. Oh shit! It was definitely sugar. <laughs> it's the, the the order in which you mix it makes a difference to the consistency of it. it no. At the end. No. No. You're not not down with the science of no, it. I don't think that's no it. science. It's rubbish. Real. It, it was you've gone for the religious experience. Yeah, yeah I'm just you? yeah I just pile it all in. It's all got to be in it. All in one big melting yeah. pot. See what comes out. Exactly. Okay, so we're just gonna put the sugar in as well. <laughs> You just got you just going all in. I just think you just gotta whack it all in. You're using a spoon. Oh <laughs> I really messed up! I wanna start over. What did you think most when you sort of saw Joe? What were you like, oh, okay. What what what, what, was... ran, what ran through my head first? Yeah. <laughs> I got this in the fucking bag. Like, I thought, use your hands, get in there. But I think it's because I've only ever made pastry, which is what you do for pastry. Chris isn't in at the moment, this is salt. <laughs> I contemplated on whether I would do it or not. <laughs> um, and I think eventually I thought his looks way better than mine. <laughs> My one does look like a crumble mix. I put salt in Chris's cake. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> what? As. No, just as an asshole thing. Basically, I knew I was going to be. Does Chris know? Yeah, because he tasted his mix. <laughs> Frying my mix a bit there. Taste, Thomas. Suspiciously, like whilst I was out of the room, someone put salt in my mix. He walked out of the room, and I, I had planned to do it, and then I had a change of heart. I was like, oh no, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, because you want it to be a level. Yeah, I did, yeah, and I didn't want to be like, oh, well, the only reason I won yeah. is because I put the sugar in. Yeah, yeah, uh, salt in his thing. However, he left the room for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. Let's. <laughs> Is there a, a bit of touch of shenanigans going on? No. Thomas? That, I think that's because you've done the wrong order. Oh, maybe. Actually, when yeah. did you put the eggs in? I haven't. Like, there's salt in everything. everything. There's salt in everything. There is, I suppose, Tom, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what I did is I put all the ingredients just in a bowl. I put a bit too much eggshell in, so I've taken that out now. And um, it's looking really good. Look, look at that. Isn't that look cakey? Well, you know, I think there's a lot to be said for the people that just chuck. Just, just f throw all the yeah, stuff in Yeah, because it's just like a real confidence. Like, I think the oven will know that when it's cooking <laughs> the cake. Yeah, I hear that's the thing in yeah. baking, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, but you know, I think the anal approach... I mean, I, to be on. honest, I, I took the anal approach. Well, that's a bit inappropriate <laughs> for the show. But, um, you know, I was trying anything once. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at this, making sure that it looks right. Basically, as long as it doesn't look like that, which is uh, which is obviously Joe's, I'm I'm saying that I'm getting it right. Something I saw on the internet, um, and no one's allowed to copy me because this is now my thing. That I'm saying, so I'm going to mix. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I'm going to mix some of. Oh, um, I'm going to mix some cocoa powder with some of you. <laughs> I mix in some cocoa um, with some of the mix and then when I pour it into the pan I will pour some of the, 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 the looking white stuff and the darker stuff and it will it will look magical inside. I'm just going to add a little bit, I'm, I'm partial to a bounty bar so what I've done is I've got some coconut and I've got some cocoa powder. Oh and you're going straight I'm in. I'm going straight in so we're just going to woo woo. I think it's going to be really What's he this? Look, bounty litters. Wow. Oh my god, my inner child is just dying with excitement. I think I maybe put too much cocoa powder and a little bit too much coconut, so it does resemble a little bit of turd. So that's not great. Chris did a lot. He lined his cake for a while. Yeah. What did he what did he do? Because I, I would assume if, if if I were you and I hadn't yeah. lined my cake tin already. Yeah. I would have copied what Chris was doing. You would have surely thought, Chris has yeah. seen that, but you didn't. Yeah, you would have thought I would have done that. What I decided to go with, because you had the paper and I couldn't be bothered to come and get it, <laughs> I, I got a load of butter and I mixed it around, and then I was told if you shove flour in it on top of the butter, that will stick to the butter, so that actually the cake won't, it looks like on a layer okay. of flour. So I've gone au naturel. I've hit a bit of wool. I don't actually know if I put paper in the tin to cook it with or whether 
I just put the mix in. So the grease paper was a bit difficult. Dave's really anal. I think Dave will be fine and he'll probably have an okay cake, but I'd like to think that I've experienced this process and Dave's just survived it. Jo lined it with paper. Oh really? Yeah, but- Did she put butter? No, she didn't, she didn't, the butter wasn't in the room at the time. What I just did is I just sticked it, the baking paper with a bit of cake mix. Jo used cake mix to stick the paper to the inside of the tin <laughs> and then put her cake mix in afterwards. As you can see, just here, holding it in place. Speed with cake. Oh, look how clean your tins look compared to mine. Yeah, that's all gonna burn. Mine is bubbling in the oven right now. I did bubbling. Uh, yeah, because it's the vanilla, the white mixture is kind of popping out over the black. But it's kind of like <laughs> slightly elephant meat. You're making yeah. the elephant man of cake. Yeah. Dump a baking powder in Tom's. Tom's cake, a lot of baking powder. What is that? It's kind of just bubbling, it's just like oh some kind no. of inferno. No, it's good. That's good. Do you think he'll be sad? <laughs> that explains why he filled yours with baking powder. <laughs> Did he actually? <laughs> Did he actually? <laughs> oh shit! Which probably explains the bubbling. Oh my god! If anyone did anything to my cake, but I think they look at it and they're like, there's nothing that needs to be done because she's <laughs> yes, ruined Mate, it. was that your tactic? He was complaining that you put salt in his. <laughs> but he said, but it's okay, because I put baking powder in his. My cake came out of the oven, possibly one of the best looking, and then when I pulled it out of the tin, everyone was like impressed. I could tell, I could tell, I could feel the anger on Chris's face. You must be gutted. I am gutted. <laughs> Sabotaging fucking work. Yours didn't and his really, really did. Really, really did. Yeah, no. I think if uh, really. if that's what it comes down to, I think you've been slightly hard <laughs> done by that. I think that's terrible, I really do. What? That he sabotaged your cake. I know, he tried to he tried to make my cake explode. That's what he wanted. Apparently if you give a pigeon bicarbonate of soda they explode. Yeah. Maybe we'll try that on the next bake off Joe. <laughs> Dave's cake was going well, everything was just going swimmingly, he'd done it all in the right order, it was looking good, he had a good mix, he lined his tin well, it all gone into the tin perfectly, um, and then he tried to take his cake out of the tin. <laughs> The rest of the crew, the rest of the gang, I don't think they think my technique is a winning technique. But fuck them. Fuck you, Dave. Fuck you, Tom. And fuck you, Chris. The taste of the cake comes into it as well. And I know Joe is definitely going to lose points on decoration, yes, but I tried a, I her, so. tried a bit of her, cake, and her cake. It does taste good. Her cake was very good. We are about to put some cocoa into how, my. How much? Just, uh, this is what I do. Dave, look at me. Dave spent an exceptional amount of time uh, creaming his cake, uh, just spreading the creamer. I don't know, he, he's obviously been paying attention to what his wife does. I think his cake could taste too sweet. In all honesty, I think it could. When he, he it was very frothy, his, his mix, but I think when you actually taste it, you're like, oh, that's good when you have a tiny bit of it. Courage, brains, yeah. heart, vagina. Four most important things in life. He said that twice and I haven't lasted either. <laughs> Chris tried to counteract my salt sabotage by adding loads of caramel and loads of sugar into it. I don't care about consistency, I've just got to get, get over the salt. Right, I don't think you're going to get over the salt. I'm going to do it, thanks. Uh, you know, and salted caramel's a thing, so I mean, it could work. I think we're all going to fail horribly, to be honest, on the uh, decorating. Well, I think you should speak for yourself. <laughs> All of a sudden you're confident. I just, it comes and flows. Like sometimes I doubt myself, but then I realise how amazing it's going to be. So this would be Tom's head. Yeah. Nose. Okay. And then nose, just stick nose it on two, two, little, two little cocktail sticks. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. Winner. Winner. Oh. Do you, are you proud of these cakes? <laughs> they said that it tasted too sweet and it tasted too much like it was shop bought. If a cake tastes shop bought, then it must be a pretty reasonable cake. It's got everything in it 
and none of them possibly should go together. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. <laughs> Oh, oui.